everyone if you're like me juggling multiple calendars and trying to fit all of your tasks into one organized schedule can be a real headache that's why i've been on the hunt for the ultimate calendar app that not only brings together all of our different calendars across various platforms but it also offers us a smarter way to handle our click up tasks and scheduling of those tasks so guess what i finally found it and i'm super excited to introduce you to morgan which allows us to seamlessly integrate everything and then directly schedule our click up tasks right into our calendar so no more flicking between apps or trying to customize click up to make it work for us this is the tool that gives us everything that we need now if you're not a click up user this is still a great option if you've got things like an apple calendar a google calendar an Outlook calendar and you're wanting to bring everything into one platform, Morgan is also able to handle that. So let's dive in and take a look at some of the features, the way we use it to schedule our ClickUp tasks, and then also some of the other things that come with your account as well. So by default, your account will look like this. You can come in here and add in as many different calendars as you like. So you can go through and sync everything in. From there, over on the left-hand side, we've got our menu. So we've got tasks, we've got open invites, you've got your booking page, and you've got Morgan Assist. So now we'll take a look at Morgan's task. So by default, Morgan comes with a task tool in here, meaning that if you don't want to create tasks within your project management tool, you just need to quickly create something on the fly, you can use Morgan's task directly to do that. Or if you're using Google tasks, you can actually bring those across as well. So to create a new task, we just click on plus task, um, so we'll call this a test task. And what we can do is we can then click and drag that into our calendar. Now, what you'll notice is that task is now removed from our list. So if we were to drag all of these things in, you'll see here now that there is nothing left in this list of things for us to schedule because everything we need to do has been given a date and time. So that's quickly very easy how you can do that. With these tasks as well, you can add in some extra notes, you can set repeating instances, and you can also put in a due date. So the plan start and end is the dates and times you're planning on doing the work, whereas the due date is the time you actually need to get the work done. So something really cool about Morgan, and this is one of the reasons that we love it for what we do with ClickUp, is say, for example, on this day, we plan on doing this much time, but then we also need to put this into another day as well, because realistically, we've got other meetings after this, and we're not going to have time to get the whole thing done. So to manage that, we simply right click on it, click copy, and we can now paste the same task into another day. So these two are linked together, but it means that we can say, well, actually on Thursday, we're just going to do half an hour on this task. When you go in there and tick it off as completed, you can then say, well, we've completed both instances of that. So that's how Morgan's default task scheduling works. With Google Tasks, if you've got anything sitting in your Google account, they'll just come up here, allowing you to schedule those in too. But where we absolutely love this is for our ClickUp task. So the way this works is you can click to multiple ClickUp workspaces, which for us as a consultant working in other people's accounts, this is absolutely gold because it means we can take everything from the various workspaces and use one calendar to schedule everything in. You can then choose what spaces from your ClickUp account you would like to bring in, and then you can actually select the specific list that you would like to include as well. So Project Box is our workspace, Operations is our space, and we're choosing to only bring in the inbox list. So from there, again, you can simply click and drag these tasks into the platform. You'll be able to tell their ClickUp based on the little ClickUp logo that sits here. And if we double click on it, you'll actually have a button to open this task directly in the web browser. So same thing like I showed you before. Say, for example, we've got website updates. On Monday, we're planning to do this for two hours or three hours. But then maybe we need to continue this task over on another day. So we can then copy it and paste it in here. And we'll actually, we're only going to do an hour and a half, an hour on that day. So where ClickUp is unable to do this is if you're scheduling tasks into the calendar or the agenda in ClickUp and you have a time estimate of say 10 hours, ClickUp doesn't know where you're going to spend that 10 hours. So if you put the due date or the start and the due date as set timeframes, it will equally spread that out the number of hours across the week. So say for example, you set your due date, start date as Monday, due date on Friday, ClickUp's then going to take your time estimate, which let's just use 10 hours, 
and spread that equally, giving you two hours every day. Now, the other thing is if you put a due date and you schedule it, it's going to think you're doing all 10 hours on that due date. So Morgan just allows you to split those longer tasks into various different days. The days that you have the tasks scheduled into your calendar do not reflect back into ClickUp. Let's say, for example, we now go to complete this task. It's going to go, well, hang on. You've told us you're spending three hours. Would you like to track that time against the task? And if so, is it just normal time or do you need to track billable time as well? Same thing if we go to complete the one a couple of days later, it's then recognizing, well, there's now an additional hour. So it's just really great for being able to, like I said, manage multiple different things within ClickUp and then being able to actually take the tasks that you need to do and properly schedule them into your calendar for when work needs to be done. So if we take a look at a calendar that I'm actively using, so what we can see here now is my actual calendar. But you can see here I've popped in all the tasks that I plan on doing next week and then that will now be blocking out my calendar as well so by default Morgan comes with its own direct scheduling page it does look a bit like this when you first go ahead and customize it so from there we can then start to use what they call their open invites to create different event types within the booking platform so the way this works is we simply click on open invites but let's now have a look at how we can create those event types so the way we do it is by clicking on open invite at the top right hand corner we need to give this a title so we'll call this training sessions with tip and we then need to select the time frames for this so i'm going to say that we're available next week from 9 to 4 on Monday, 11 to 2 on Tuesday. Now, obviously, once you get all your schedule up and running in here, you'll be able to do this around your meeting time. So maybe we've got a few meetings. Now, it also doesn't matter if you do have the same you know, meetings within this because Morgan will automatically block those out for you. We then need to tell it how long the meeting needs to go for where we're we going to have this meeting if it's a physical location or if it's conferencing. We've come in here and set up our own fixed custom link, meaning that we can just use the same meeting link each time. But you can use Zoom or we've also integrated Google or Teams to be able to generate a new meeting link each time. From there, we can go show advance and we can say, OK, well, people can't book any further into the future then for us we're going to say four months and we need at least 24 hours notice before this we then want a buffer of 30 minutes after that session and when it goes into our booking slot we or this time between slots is how long we need between each meeting and then we can our slots on our booking page will start at the quarter hour we're then telling it we just need to check this one calendar. You can also um, check what other calendars you would like it to look at. And we want to show this as an option on the booking page. We also then want to send a reminder 10 minutes before to both attendees, so to ourselves and the people who are booking in. We then get this custom meeting link. So if you do want to send people directly to that page, that then looks like we open this link. It will go directly to that booking link. So each event type can have its own booking page. Otherwise, because we chose to add it to our overall booking page, we now have an option here to be able to pick this from the drop down list.